Just a few steep steps away from bustling Union Square is a quiet cornerstone of San Francisco's art community. The Meridian Gallery on Powell Street has a 20-year history of supporting visual arts, experimental music concerts, and author readings. Give us this day our daily bread, at least three times a day, and lead us not into temptation too often on weekdays. Meridian stands apart from the commercial galleries around Union Square, and it's because of their core mission, to increase social, philosophical, and spiritual change among isolated individuals and communities. Basically, it is a statement that embraces the idea that significant art of any kind in any discipline creates change. It's a philosophy that attracted David Linger to mount a show at Meridian. You want to feel like your work is somewhere that it can do some good. And I felt like Meridian, at Meridian it could do some good. In fact, we didn't even talk about price until the day before the show. Of course, Meridian needs to support itself and it needs all kinds of support from the community and it needs to sell work, but that was not the first consideration and so that made me very happy. David's work is printed porcelain. He transfers images onto and sculpts the surface of fragile sheets of clay, each one only one-tenth of an inch thick. It took me about two years to get it down, and even so I would say I lose 30 percent uh, of the pieces that I make. Something happens to them, they crack, they break, they, during the process, it's very complex, they fall apart, um, but it's worth it to me. There are photographs that I took when I was 19 in the former Soviet Union. And these are gigantically blown up from the original images to the point that they lose resolution. I don't mind that because my images are about the image, but they're also about the idea, which is why there's text all over the, the uh, entire surface. Meridian moved into the Perrine Mansion on Powell Street just five years ago. Its galleries are housed in one of the very rare single-family residences around Union Square. For the 100th anniversary of the mansion, Meridian hosted a series of special events, including a world premiere reading by Lawrence Ferlinghetti. The birth of an American corporate fascism. The next to last free speech radio. The next to last independent newspaper raising hell. The next to last independent bookstore with a mind of its own the next to last lefty looking for Obama Nirvana. <laughs> the first day of the Wall Street occupation to set forth upon this continent a new revolutionary nation. In addition to its own programming of artist talks, Meridian has been a downtown host for San Francisco State's well-known Poetry Center. Recent luminaries have included David Meltzer, Steve Dickison, and Jack Hirschman. You can block us out of the press, block and arrest us, tear gas mace and shoot us, as we know very well you will, but this time we're not turning back. We know you're finished desperate near the end, hysterical in your flabbergastliness. Amen. After the readings by Hirschman and Ferlinghetti, the crowd headed to a reception upstairs by wandering through the other gallery rooms in the historic home. The third floor isn't usually reserved for just parties, however. It's the stage for Meridian's live performances. Under the guidance of musical curators Adria Ott, Tom Bickley, and Philip Gelb, Meridian has maintained a strong commitment to new music, compositions that are innovative, experimental, and sometimes challenging. Sound art is an artistic discipline that usually receives short shrift from most galleries. San Francisco's musicians have responded to Meridian's attention by showing strong support for the programming.
looking into Meridian's future, Anne Brodsky jokingly says that she wants to keep doing the same thing that she's been doing since 1989, to enlighten and disturb. I really believe that art has, all the arts have a serious function and that it helps us find out who we are in a, in a much wider sense than we were before we experienced that work of art.